puts a smile on my face more than dogs being dogs. Having a great time in the water and on the beach here. These are groodles, a whole group of them, and I'm in camera. So what is a groodle? A groodle is a golden retriever crossed with a poodle. But there's only one thing missing, and that is one particular dog. Carly, it's wonderful to see all these dogs running around all over the place, and this is your idea, isn't it? Yeah. I created a Facebook page so all the Groodles of Canberra could get together and meet up and have playdates and share tips and grooming tips and food and all that stuff. But your dog's not here. He's not. He's a bit of a problem child for me, and he's been showing signs of aggression to other dogs. Um, so it's better for him to stay at home at these playdates so nothing happens. I'm sad for you. I know. That's I'm hard. smiling, but I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, of course you are. Why don't we go home to your place, look at Walter, yep. talk to you, and see if we can come up with some answers. <laughs> Oh, this is uh, Hello. not identical twins, are you, by any chance? <laughs> no. <laughs> you are very similar. So you are? I'm Elise. This what? is Walter. Walter, how are Robert? you? When do you run into this problem of this charging at other dogs? Yeah. Describe to me what he does. He just sort of, well, he'll arc up, get really, like, he'll bark at them. He'll get very, like, over, I guess, not excited, but just, Agitated and yeah. scared. As soon as he again. sees one, he'll just get tensed up and yeah. then he'll just go to lunch, lunch at and the he'll dog. Bark and, and he sounds okay. very scary. Bark, 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 and a real scary bark yeah. as well. Not, it's a not like happy, a happy, yeah. friendly bark. Why do you think he does it? Anxious. You think he could be anxious? Yeah. Dogs that often show aggression mm. to other dogs and to other people are anxious. Ladies, we've talked a lot. We need to now have some action. Come on. Okay. Come on. What are you doing? Quick. I need to see at first hand how Walter responds to other dogs. So I've got two volunteer dogs along for the afternoon just to see exactly what happens. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hold it. Ah, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> ah, stop. Oh. <laughs> Walter, cut it out. <laughs> hey, Walter, stop. Walter's response was about what I expected. The closer he got to the other dog, the more full on the reaction was. So we're gonna look again with the dogs further apart and see what sort of reaction we get from Walter. Ah, uh -uh, hey. I'd say seven metres is about the tolerance that this dog has. What actually happens here is that Walter considers that anything around the two girls larger than seven metres in radius is OK. But come inside that circular area of seven metres radius and you're stepping inside Walter's territory. And he doesn't like that. He doesn't like it at all. Boy. Good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. OK, so that goes over there, right? right -o. What I've done is put a training holder on. So this is a condition which stops dogs pulling. Very different feeling for the dog, and therefore I want to have a little bit of a walk around, get him used to that, see how he tolerates it. Okay. I'm watching from Come the bleachers. <laughs> Let's go. Good boy. I would like you two to put the dog in sit, if you could, please, girls. Sit. Now, the next step is to ask him to drop. Walter, down. Good boy. Excellent. <laughs> Tell him he's good. Good, yep. boy. good boy. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. A dog that's in drop is submissive. When you see another dog coming in your direction, I want you to put him in sit and then drop. But keep him down at that level while the other dog walks past. Yeah. Okay. Now, the idea is to the other dog to get closer and closer and closer over time. I would anticipate three to four months, but from a practical point of view, while well, we've got a couple of volunteers, let's utilise those dogs All and right. put your training skills <laughs> into action. Let's stay right here. Let's go all the way. 
Okay, drop. Alright, off the fit. Down. Down. Hold him, talk to him. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Walter. Good boy. Good, boy. Good, boy. Good. Good. Keep coming. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That was great. <laughs> I love that. That was fantastic because you were doing what we all try to do, rewarding your dog for doing the right thing. You asked him to drop, he dropped, and you rewarded him, and he stayed there. <laughs> yes. I'm happy. That was good so job. good. Surely you both felt a bit more confident then. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Good. Yep. Good. For a first run. That Not wasn't bad. too bad. All righty. So we're going to go home in a minute, right? I've got some other things to talk to you about and another thing to show you to give you even more confidence. Because remember, if you're confident, the dog feels confident too. That's what all well, it looks like one dog's had a hard day at the office, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't say much for us, does it, <laughs> Let me summarise. You got me here because of your problem with Walter lunging and barking at other dogs on the lead. Yep. OK. Why does he do it? Your own words were, he's anxious. Couldn't agree more. So we need to medicate the anxiety. So he's on fluoxetine, he takes one tablet at the same time every day. And we keep going with those. Last but not least, a bit of insurance for you. So it's a muzzle. The interesting thing about muzzles is that when you put a muzzle on a dog, it tends to sedate the dog. Mm. And today, in this litigation world, you need to make sure you're doing the right thing. I'm freezing. Yeah. It's terribly cold here. The sun's gone behind the clouds. Do I have a cold beer or a hot toddy? I think a hot toddy. That's the go. <laughs> See ya. Oh, Walter. You're right, pal.